Hello people and welcome to Nico. <laughs> I'm just gonna evaluate your <laughs> comments. I'm gonna read your comments and I'm gonna comment on your comments as I see fit. There's been some shit here so I wanna go through it. But there's also been some nice comments here and there. Oh, who am I kidding? This video exceeded my expectations. It's now over 28k in views and 600 likes. Against 60 dislikes, so I guess I mostly did an adequate job. Uh, people have been commenting versus the Game Boy games and versus uh, Rockman and Forte, but I don't have enough uh, experience in those. You don't want me to add them before I know more. I agree, 80% with this list. Well, that's pretty good out of 70 some fuck out of weapons. Wow, you have made an awesome and perfect way to rank the weapons of the Mega Man universe. Yeah, well, you're not wrong there. The video starts at 3.01. No, the video starts at the beginning because there's important information that you should know before watching the list. If you can't even sit on your ass for 3 minutes, how the hell are you gonna watch the whole thing? It's like 50 minutes. Just watch the whole thing or don't watch it at all. Anyway, thanks for the timestamp, I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't the chill spike in all purposes be above Ice Slasher? You can switch weapons, freeze enemies in place and actually damage your enemies. Despite the fact that it does Ice Slasher but better, it travels in an arc for balance. However, if you have good timing you can completely negate the arc and at that point you have a better Ice Slasher. Well, you have to take into account the four different categories for the weapons. And mainly you take a look at the balance uh, stat for all of the games, that's gonna switch weapons around. And I just think the Ice Slasher is a bit better, just my opinion, I guess. I find the uh, Chill Spike a bit more in more inconvenient to use at times, it's uh, low range and not a lot of enemies are just gonna run over it. It's a bit of a gimmicky weapon in my opinion. Am I the only person who thinks the Power Stone is one of the best weapons in the classic series? Yes. You counted the Wii games as classic games, but not the Game Boy ones. Well, I don't have enough experience on the Game Boy games to add them. Nor do I have enough experience on Rockman and Forte, that's gonna change soon, so expect a an update on the weapons video. But I did say Mega Man 1 through 10. That's literally Mega Man 1 through 10. I highly disagree about Mega Man 8's weapons. They don't serve the purpose to do more damage, but to hit certain enemies. Wait, what? I highly disagree about Mega Man 8's weapons, they don't serve the purpose to do more damage, but to hit certain enemies on different places, like if an enemy is below you. Well, what kind of a s purpose do they serve then? To deal less damage? I don't... Ugh. Mega Man 8's balance is all messed up. If you use the flash bomb, you don't have to use anything else. It doesn't matter if enemies are above or below it, they're not in your way. Like... The uh, the stage designs, the stage layouts, the enemy placements, none of that plays in with the weapons you have in Mega Man 8 and, and it, in my opinion it's just not well designed. The flash bomb can do pretty much everything that the other weapons can as well, but just better. There are like five or so situations where you would actually use another weapon to kill an enemy, but even then it's not necessary. Yeah, you if if, then, if an enemy is below you use Ice Wave, I get that, yep, a couple of times I did that. If an enemy is below you use the Ice Wave, that's actually, yeah, that works well like five times in the whole game. If it's above use the Tornado Hold, where if the enemy is above, they don't usually even attack you because it's Mega Man 8, none of the enemies that are above you are gonna fucking even hit you. Yeah, the Flash Bomb is just the way to go, the Thunder Claw and flame sword pierce through shields, uh, I don't think that's completely accurate. The flash bomb is the best <laughs> best weapon that also kinda pierces through the enemies. You just wait for a moment if they're shielded and they'll die regardless. So it's not a matter of how much damage it does, but when you should use it and where the enemy is, but I have to agree that the arrow buster is better than any weapon. Better than any weapon. It's actually than. I just don't agree with this comment, but I can respect your opinion. Mortar Shield is great. Tell me about it. This may be a weird question, but are you going to do a list of fan game special weapons? No, that's too much work. I'm afraid. What about Time Slow and Oil Slider? Not enough experience on Powered Up. 
I find myself mostly agreeing with this list, though I was surprised to see Gemini Laser uh, ranked so high. That's because I gave it 9.9 .9 on uh, Fun Factor, that's the only reason it got ranked so high. Shame you didn't consider weapons from the Game Boy games. Well, I already explained that. This was an awesome list. I agree. Freeze, Cracker. I have a hard time seeing Bubble Lead placing so much lower than the other weapons towards the end of the list. Excuse me. <laughs> Go check my evaluation series of Mega Man 2. <laughs> if you really think the Bubble Lead is good, that'll probably change your mind. The Bubble Lead is one of the most horrible weapons. It doesn't work on fucking anything. It probably works on three enemies in the entire game. Yeah, it's not gonna rank any higher. My apologies. That weapon is just garbage. Where would you put oil mass and time? God damn it. Metal Blade is so overpowered. Metal Blade is so overpowered is that it can be used to easily kill its own robot master. Yeah, I always found that ridiculous. So basically, that balance category exists purely to knock Metal Blade down from the top 5. Eh. I wonder how Mega Man and Base. God damn it. Three minutes in and he still isn't at the list. Well, how the fuck are you gonna survive the next 45 minutes? We're not counting special weapon uses because we're looking at the weapon in its entirety. That sentence was a fuck up. I agree. I should have worded that better. What I meant is that we're not looking at. We're not solely looking at the weapon's special cases. We're looking at the weapon. We're looking at the weapon and how it's used in the entire game instead of just like uh, its gimmick, uh, gimmick uses. The list was pretty good, but it got kind of annoying hearing I rated this lower because it's overpowered, and then two weapons later I rated this higher. Yes, it's overpowered, I don't care. I don't recall ever saying that. Hm, must have lost my memory. Your balance logic is absurd. Oh well, whoop de doo that's some constructive criticism there. Jesus, I can I use this information to better myself? Disliked so fasted. Half the bottom of the list. <coughs> Disliked so fasted. Half the bottom of list weapons. This weapon is completely useless, while showing a video where it is useful. <clears throat> when you have 200 clips on your timeline when you're editing a video like this, good luck doing a perfect job. At some point you just give up trying to be a perfectionist and that's just what happens. I was also working with my own PC at the time and one click on the timeline took like 5 seconds and I was like, it's not gonna... It doesn't matter. It just... Just listen to it if you can't watch it or something. Also, having charge kick rated so high shows you don't know what you're talking about. Oh uh, yeah, that's true, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I've only done the no miss challenge for seven years. I've only done the snapster races for like five years and I've played Mega Man for 25 years. I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's not like I made four categories. That might affect things a bit. You know, four categories that Give points to the weapons? That's how it works in this <laughs> video here. Should probably rewatch the first three minutes. <clears throat> Power Stone is awkward to use, but I don't think it deserved to be rated as this bad. Because of its path, you can hit enemies at awkward angles. No. That you aren't gonna get with any other weapon. I see a lot of people use this situationally. I don't see any people use it anywhere. Granted, it isn't that useful in most circumstances, but it is a neat weapon to use when you use it for its admittedly limited purpose. So you just negated your own comment at the end. It really sucks. Use the Charge Buster, you're never gonna need the fucking Power Stone. Never. Charge Buster is the best weapon in Mega Man 5. Power Stone, useless. Fucking chunk. Go watch our Snapster race on Mega Man 5, it's called uh, Weapon Roulette, I believe. Felon had the Power Stone for the entire game. Watch his footage, you'll know if it's good or not. Amazing video, dude, love it. Your accent is very pleasant. Mm. Thank you. No Mega Man and Base, god damn it. Freeze Cracker might be the single greatest name for any weapon in any game ever. Where would you put the weapons from Mega Man and Base? God damn it. In my opinion, Tornado Hold is amazing. It's one of my favorites. Fantastic damage. Yes, because every weapon does the same damage. And just stupid useful. It eats many of the mini bosses for breakfast and lets you traverse the terrain with ease, gain access to new areas and effortlessly avoid spikes. Plus I just love the concept and the design. Personally, I think it's one of the 8's most identifiable weapons and probably why they decided to include it in the Mega Mass moveset in Smash Bros. Well, you can like Tornado Hold as much as you'd like. 
fact of the matter is they all do the same damage. So Tornado Hold really comes in handy like five times in the game, in my opinion, so it's good we have different opinions, I respect yours. Spark Shock is at least decent in Smash. Haven't played it. I feel like Thunder Waves should... Thunder Wave? You mean the Elec Beam? I feel like the Elec Beam should have ranked lower because of Gand... <coughs> Gand breaking glitches in Mega Man 1. The T-Wave pause glitch. This makes one boss the choke, Yellow Devil. Great for speedruns, but a literal crutch. They fixed it in Mega Man Powered Up. T-Wave was not as broken as in the first game. So T-Wave is a very broken weapon, and it's very broken, and the weapon is very broken, and it needed to be ranked lower in my opinion. Well, the fact of the matter is that it's not. it has nothing to do with the Elec Beam, that glitch. You can do that glitch with any weapon in the game. You can even do it with the Buster. Just try it. Equip the Buster, try to kill the Yellow Devil, hit the uh, select glitch, and there you go, you have the same result. So, Elec Beam has nothing to do with this. Where's the water balloon? Number 59. I would have put in a separate efficiency category, but that's just me. That's just you. Toad and Dive Man tracks were swapped. Oh no, that's horrible. The top spin actually has a pattern to how much weapon energy it uses. I can't explain it, so look it up. Yeah, if an enemy is on its iframes or invincible, that's when you use the whole weapon bar. That's how it works. As always, nice and fun video. Why don't you use the black zero art of the screen to write the one name weapon to Mega Man game and three the... <clears throat> Man, you need English. I just need English. I don't know what you're saying, I'm sorry. A list of each and every weapon from Mega Man 1 through 10. Yep, exactly. You got that right. I don't see the weapons from Mir- God damn it! Are you reading that correctly? A list of each and every weapon from Mega Man 1 through 10. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally 1 through 10. No matter how useless you think are some weapons, I always found a useful fact about them. That's cool. Awesome list. I wonder if he would consider doing another list like this but with Mega Man X weapons. Maybe in the future. Ice Wave actually pretty useful on some stages. I agree, it's useful a couple of times. Yes. I think you missed a few. G God damn it. I say <laughs> the fact alone that Top Spin was not the last place shows that someone really invested a lot of thought and work into this. I agreed. What about the weapons from the. God damn. Soon as I saw Spark Shock as the worst weapon, I knew immediately that you knew your stuff. I think you should have put the list in the description, as well as making the individual weapon scores big enough for people to. People to impatient to load a different page. You're. It, we live in an era with fast internet, unless you're you're in Africa or something. But you click a link. It's a Google Doc link. It loads in like under a second, probably a tenth of a second, and you're too impatient to open it. What's it gonna do? The, I can't even format it well if I put it in the description. That's not gonna do anything. Just open the link. It takes hundred second. I'm new to this channel, but man, what a great and entertaining video! Thank you. You forgot to count Mega Buster. What do you want me to say? I. I'm just gonna ignore that one. Honestly, I agree with this. Mm. Crash bomb aren't bad if you set them wisely. <laughs> Yoe damage. Long effect time eight times hit, and bubble lead. Oh, let me open this up. Bubble Leader is made for leading the way. Yes, it spots invisible holes. Yes, in one stage. You can't make a weapon that works well in one single stage. You have fucked up. The Bubble Lead doesn't... Bubble Lead, whatever the fuck it is. Dings off of everything. There's like probably three enemies in the game it doesn't ding off of. And Crash Bomb? Yeah, fuck that weapon. Go see the uh, Snapster race of Crash Bomber only. You'll see every and each flaw of that fucking weapon. I'm not gonna explain it here. Just go watch the race. I'm gonna link it at the card at the top right. It's too much work for me to go through right now. So just check that video. That, but Crash Bombs. No. Bad weapon. Oh, you, oh, it still continues. Top speed and kill Wily Gamma in one hit. Yeah, weapons can have 
<laughs> weapons can have such weakness tables built into them, but it doesn't make the weapon good. Every weapon has something that they were built for. That's called a weakness, of course. Of course top spin is gonna kill something in the game, because they made it that way. But a good weapon is all around good. It's useful in uh, most stages and it's useful for certain enemies, but top spin is not that. You don't like indirect weapons, don't you? Nope, that's not it. There's always going to be something that dies to some of the weapons that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. If Gamma dies to top spin in one hit, that makes the weapon good? Okay, I don't understand that logic. There has to be a weakness for that boss and it happens to be top spin. How did they fuck up Spark Shock so hard? They ran out of development time. They originally wanted Spark Shock to work the same way how Spark Man uses it, but they just ran out of time. Eh, you do you. Thank you, I will continue my work. The benefit of the Flame Blast is that it can melt ice that blocks paths in Blizzard Man stage. But if you watch the intro, the 3 minute intro before the list, I explained that I'm not gonna speak about the intended uses for the weapons. Special cases don't count in this list. Watch the whole video, please. Yamato Spear not good at piercing enemies. The Yamato Spear can easily damage Nightman in Mega Man 6. It's the weakness. It's the weakness. Every weapon works on one of the bosses. That's the idea of Mega Man. That, <laughs> that doesn't make the weapon any better if it works on one boss in the entire game because it's its weakness. We're looking at the weapons in, in their entirety. We're looking at the weapons and how they work on each of the stages and uh, each of the enemies and how they deal with them. So the fact that it kills Nightman because it's meant to kill Nightman, it's meant to pierce the shield, doesn't mean that it's a good piercing weapon in anywhere else. Because I don't think it pierces motherfucking anything in, in the game. It just stops. If it kills an enemy, it stops. It doesn't keep going. That's the whole idea of a spear. That's the whole idea of a piercing weapon. It should pierce more than Nightman, which is the weakness. Finally, every fucking other top 10 was like Metal Blade, Metal Blade, Metal Blade. Yeah, it doesn't make much uh, sense, does it? Buster, I repeat, Buster. SMH, don't know what that means. Flash Stopper is kinda broken too. It stopped time for 8 sec, I think. But with every slide, you stop the 8 sec duration, that means with some cute speedrun skills, you can stop time for longer than the standard 8 sec duration. With some well placed slides, you can stop time longer than. than. 20 sec. That's pretty broken if you ask me. I did not know that. I'd have to check that out if that is actually true. But that's a glitch anyway. Also, a lot of people write then instead of then. I wonder why I speak better English than most of the Americans. Wrong music on Dive Missile and Shadow Blade and Rain Flush. Okay. Great video, but you left out the Mega Ball. Isn't that a utility, not a weapon? You have Heat Man, which is weak against Bubble Man. Which his weapon are bubbles, by the way. Who is weak against Metal Man, even though it could hurt anyone, but it hurts Bubble Man twice for some reason. I already forgot what. I. Excuse me. Is it just me, or did he forget Bright Man's weapon? No, it's called the Flash Stopper. It's in the list. This was entertaining, but I don't know what you're on about with Mega Man 8's balance. Just watch the evaluation of Mega Man 8. It is in my channel. Rip Mega Man a bit. God damn it. Play Rockman 4 minus infinity. I have, it's in my channel. Actually, I found decent uses for bubble, le <laughs> bubble lead and flash stopper. Though the inability to stop the flash stopper sucks. No, you haven't. Can you swear a bit less? No. This weed made me lol multiple times. Good job. Bubble actually helped my brother defeat the final boss to be <laughs> How irony it is. Nice list. Can't believe how long it took to do this. Eh, <laughs> about a week. You gotta remember, I've done the Snapster races and all of that. One weapon only races tend to uh, stick with you and I tend to remember how the weapons work. Again, go to our Snapster channel if you're interested in those. Why is the plant barrier over the leaf shield? I call bullshit on that. Well, if you watched the video, you'd know. Dive Missile played the Toadman theme. And Shadow played, played the Sparkman theme. And Rain Flash played something. I think Dive Man. Cool story.
Try Rockman 4 minus in. Damn it. You forgot about the proto shield. Oh, no, I didn't. Why is he using capital letters on every word? How the hell did she use Heart Knuckle in Heart Mass stage? Game Genie. Huh, I could have sworn Eye Slasher went away when you paused. Guess I remembered wrong. Yes, you did. Great list. Only nitpick is you got Toad Man and Dive Man teams in the wrong places. It's actually bubble lead as in a rope lead. It's whatever you wanna make it. I hope you get recognized in YouTube. Yeah. Freeze Cracker is like the best weapon in 7. You only pick the worst parts to use it. Eh. I'd argue about that. This video is awesome. Metal Man's Metal Blade ranked 31. Are you kidding me? It should be ranked in the top 3. <laughs> get out, get out of here. What does Beast mean? Don't have any idea. Wonder where the weapons for Mega Man and fuck. Dive Missile plays Toad Man team. Great list. Mega Man 9 probably has the most balanced weapon set in the entire series. I agree. You really put your heart into this one. Freeze, Kraken. Do you like Ice Burst from MMX6? I don't like MMX6. What about Mega Man and Bass Whip? God damn. I would love a video like this about Robot Masters because I really want to know about the RNG vs. Reaction. I am considering doing a video like that about the Robot Masters, so I guess just wait. A great use of my time. Number one kind of surprised me though, but I get it. Hilarious commentary on Power Stone and Search Snake. I still probably would have rated Laser Trident higher. Eh. It's a hit or, it's a hit or a miss. The fuck happened to your Mega Man 8 recordings? Sony Vegas happened. Did you know the black hole bomb can be steered up and down very effectively? Yes. Number one, Metal Blades. You're wrong. Listen, you can have an opinion, but your opinion is wrong. Fuck yes. Some surprising rankings, but what a vid. I wonder where the weapons from MMU would fit in that list. Oh, Megaphil X. I love you. You forgot Mega Man and Base. No, I... I didn't forget. I didn't forget. You forgot to put the Mega Man game of each weapon. No, they are in the Google Doc. Does the screen look like it has more room for the <laughs> game name? Best weapons list I've watched. So where's powered up? God damn it! A good video always ends with a C shot. Oh, none of the obscure weapons like from Mega Man and. F also noticed you left out Mega Man and. F One of your best videos so far. I like this new AVGN. I can't believe you called the wet fart nightmare that is dive missile a joy to use. I guess if you are amused by your own weapon harmlessly orbiting your target, it is joyful. Hey, come on, it's a good weapon. Just play some Mega Man 4, you'll see why it's good. My favorite weapon is Plug Ball. I value your opinion. I'm pretty sure you can alter the silver tomahawk's trajectory by holding up or down. No, you can't. 78? I thought there were 91, if you included Mega Man and... <laughs> well, that's most of the comments. Uh, I didn't read uh, all of those well done and good job uh, comments, because... Well, I've read them and I don't have to read them again. For this video, anyway. I appreciate the comments I've gotten and... Uh, I'm really amazed that the video got so many views and it's still climbing, getting like a thousand views a day. Don't know how I did it, but I guess I have to be grateful for that. Keep the comments coming and maybe I'll do part two. Some of these were really amusing. I'll catch you on the next one.